So, hello friends. Uh, let us see what is the concept of orthogonal spheres. Uh, now, two spheres are said to be orthogonal to each other. Uh, if so, the two spheres uh, say S1 equal to 0, S2 equal to 0 are said to be orthogonal. 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 If hmm, they intersect at a point, if one they intersect each other at a point, uh, say P and point B, and second. Uh, if you draw the tangents to these two spheres at this point, if uh, tangents are drawn, tangents D1 and D2 are drawn to S1 equal to 0, S2 equal to 0 respectively. At P. Okay, so what we are doing is uh, we are taking two spheres which are intersecting at a point, and at that point we are drawing two tangents. Okay, one is to one sphere, another is to another sphere. Then the angle between T1 and T2, the third point, if the angle between our T1 and T2 is 90 degrees that means t1 and t2 are perpendicular to each other that is t1 is perpendicular to t2 okay then we say that the two spheres s1 and s2 are orthogonal then we say that uh, s1 and s2 are orthogonal Okay, so what we are doing is we are taking two spheres, they are intersecting at a point, we are drawing two tangents okay, to the spheres at that point and then the two tangents are perpendicular to each other. Okay, if that is the case, we will say that the two spheres are orthogonal. Now, if you have given any equations like this, S1, two spheres, how you will uh, identify that whether they are orthogonal or not? So, for that purpose, there is a condition that is called as a condition of orthogonality. So, what is that condition? Let's write down. Condition of orthogonality. Of, of orthogonality. Okay. So, how you will determine that S1 and S2? <coughs> so, I say let S1 equal to 0. This is one sphere. Now, see that for this sphere, we will calculate U1, V1, W1, D1 as usual. Then, S2 equal to 0. For this, we will calculate U2, V2, W2 and D2. We know how to calculate this by comparing with the standard form of second order equation. Fine. So, these are the two spheres given to us. Okay, we know these things. Then, uh, S1 equal to 0, S2 equal to 0 are orthogonal. If, okay, the condition is like this, two times, uh, two times, into bracket u1 u2 plus v1 v2 plus w1 w2 bracket complete is equal to d1 plus d2 okay so please note this condition uh, this is a condition of orthogonality 
So if you observe that this thing is happening, uh, surely the two spheres are orthogonal. Okay. I'll give you one example of this. So let us consider two spheres here and we can immediately find out whether they are orthogonal or not. So I say here sphere 1. So let us take this equation. Uh, x square plus y square plus z square. Minus 4x plus 6y plus 4. So this is one first equation. Sphere 2. Uh, we have x square plus y square plus z square plus 7x seven x uh, plus ten y minus five z plus twelve equal to zero. Okay. Now see that for these two spheres, first of all we will calculate them u1, u2, u1, v1, etc. So here what is u1? It is minus two, v1 is uh, three, w1 is zero, and d1 equal to four. Right? And here u2 is equal to uh, 7 by 2, then v2 is equal to 5, uh, w2 is equal to minus 5 by 2, and d2 equal to 12. Okay? So let's uh, see whether this condition is satisfied. So the LHS uh, of this condition says that, so here LHS is equal to, two times now u1 u2 so u1 and u2 so minus 2 into 7 by 2 plus v1 v2 3 into 5 w1 w2 0 into minus 5 by 2 so it is two times this will get cancelled uh, 15 minus 7 so 8 so it is 16 Right? And what is the RHS of this side? It is D1 plus D2. And you can easily observe that here D1 is 4, D2 is 12. So 4 plus 12, this is also equal to 16. So see that the LHS and RHS are matching. That means this condition is satisfying. So these two spheres, this is these two spheres, they are orthogonal to each other. Got it? Okay. So orthogonal spheres are, is a very important topic. Uh, we'll see some more illustrations of uh, this orthogonal sphere in the next video. Thank you.